So welcome, Derek Rydell here, founder of The Law of Emergence and author of the best-selling books, Emergence and The Abundance Project. And I'm really excited to talk to you today about becoming a thought leader and what does it mean, what does it look like, and what might be some struggles with it. And one of the most uh, important questions or a, a, a common question is, I, I feel like I do want to be a thought leader. I feel like I really do have something more to bring the world, that there's something new or innovative. I don't know what it is exactly yet, but what's really stopping me is I'm comparing myself to other thought leaders, especially to like the great ones, Steve Jobs, Elon Musk, Oprah Winfrey, Jesus, Mother Teresa, right? And here's the thing, from the, the level of the soul or the spirit, there is no quantity, all right? So it's not about being on the cover of Time Magazine, if that's even still a magazine. It's not about being on the cover of anything. It's not about achieving more or having a lot of possessions or awards at the end of the year or lifetime. What your soul cares about is having a greater possession and expression of you, right? Do you look out at nature and look at a little beautiful daisy and then compare it to a mighty oak and go, ah, oh, look at that little cruddy old daisy. Compared to that oak, it's nothing. It's ridiculous, right? You would never do that. In fact, it makes the perfection of the ecosystem and in nature and in some ways, that little flower just blooming on the side of the hill, it's not even getting a ton of attention. It's literally changing consciousness. It's releasing an energy and you find that sometimes even more special, right? And so the whole comparison and quantity thing is a complete ego trip. And the other thing I wanna share with you is there's this story that really changed my life. And I wrote a song even about it once called The Little Things, because I was comparing myself. I was like, well, who am I compared to that and that and that? And I remember reading this story about, the, and this really always chokes me up, I'll try to hold it together, about this, this guy on a bus who just felt like he didn't have a lot to give, but what he did have to give was a little bit of kindness. And he smiled to this man that was on the bus. And, or no, it was a woman. And it was just a moment of just kindness. And this woman went to work that day. And they had a boss, and the boss was kind of the jerk, and nobody liked him. And she felt filled up by, she felt filled up by this kindness, and she took a moment to compliment the boss. And he was so moved by that, because nobody complimented him. Everybody thought he was a jerk. And he went home, and, he had a son that he was estranged to. And um, he walked into his son's room and they never talked anymore. And he just stood in the door when he said, hey, hey son, you know, uh, just wanted to know if you want to talk or anything tonight, I'll make you some dinner, we could chat. You know, I'll be in the living room. And he went back out, he felt a little vulnerable. And a few moments later, the son came out and he had a gun in his hand. And he said, I was gonna use this on myself tonight, dad you don't talk to me anymore. And I just was like, wow, maybe there's a chance. And they made up. And I always think of it like that smile on the bus saved that child's life. So if you th think that what you have to offer isn't enough, please remember that because who you are and what you have to bring, it's unprecedented. And it's not about the size of the thing you do. It's about how much love and sincerity you put into it. And you and only you have 100% control over that. And nobody can stop you from putting a lot of love and passion and service into your work. So I hope that helps you to realize, wow, I can't wait to get started in sharing my gift. Because you don't know how many lives you'll change, like the butterfly effect. The ripple effect of you showing up and giving your gift can ultimately change the whole world. Now, you can see I'm pretty passionate about this. This is my mission to develop the next generation of real thought leaders, people with real heart, real passion. And if you feel that resonance, I'm here to do whatever it takes to support you. And I have a free training that I want to give you. Just click on the link below and get this free training and let me support you step by step in discovering what is your real life's work, what is your real gift, and 
and how can you begin to bring it to the world to make your impact and yes, even an income so you can fund the vision instead of fueling your fear. I just can't wait to support you. And until next time, remember, live authentically, love unconditionally and follow your destiny.